In the 1990s, William Forsyth published Improvisation Technologies, a series of video lectures demonstrating a choreographic vocabulary, mapping the relationships between different parts of the dancer's body and the surrounding space. The video recordings were augmented with computer-generated and animated shapes, forms, and figures to illustrate the choreographer's improvisation techniques and the theoretical principles for creating new dance movements. Since then, it has been widely adopted and studied by choreographers and researchers in dance studios and in academia. Its great impact was not only because of Forsyth's choreographic concepts, but also thanks to the implementation of the state-of-the-art CGI technologies at the time that seamlessly blended visual annotations with the video-captured space which was crucial for the effectiveness of the lectures because it enabled the audience to intuitively visualize the connection between states of the body and the compositional processes. The state-of-the-art CG technology today is mixed reality equipped with motion tracking. Although this combination shows a promising direction for advancing this line of work by visually annotating movement trajectories and structures in real time and in 3D, the need of wearing a bulky headset presents a major challenge to introducing mixed reality to the dance community for free and unhindered bodily exploration to create new dance movements through improvisation. Inspired by improvisation technologies and the availability of mirror-based mixed reality interfaces, we explore the plausibility of bringing the visual augmentation into the dance studio using mirrors. By using a prototype mixed reality mirror as a technology probe, we investigate dancers' reception, adoption, and appropriation of a mixed reality mirror designed for helping them create new dance movements through improvisation. My name is Chu Shizhou, and I'm presenting this work on behalf of my colleagues. We built our mixed reality mirror using a two-way mirror glass mounted on top of a 65-inch TV screen for overlaying virtual content on the mirror reflection. We use a Kinect sensor for full-body motion tracking and for adjusting the viewing perspective of the virtual content according to the viewing perspective of the user, such that the content displayed on the mirror always appeared at their correct locations in the reflection from the user's viewing angle. Using the prototype, we designed four visualizations in simplistic forms similar to the visual styles of the lines and body captures in improvisation technologies. The designs are simple and open-ended, allowing the users to explore and reinterpret them. The first visualization is point-point line. This function is inspired by imagining lines from improvisation technologies. It is the first lesson in the original video lecture series, conveying the most basic idea of visualizing an imagined line uh, between any two parts of the body or any two points in space. Our implementation allows the dancer to draw a straight line between two body joints when they press a button on a remote control in their hand. We use this function to enable participants to visualize the spatial relationship between their hands and to create lines for aligning avoiding and measuring. The second visualization is air drawing. This function is inspired by dropping curves in improvisation technologies. It creates a trace of a moving part of the body, visualizing the logical progression of the motion. Our implementation allows the dancer to continuously draw the trace of their dominant hand holding the remote when they press and hold the button. This function helps participants visualize the temporal and spatial relationship between the movement trajectory of their body and the surrounding space. The third visualization is delayed presence. This function is inspired by own body position in improvisation technologies. It visualizes the frozen pose of the dancer's body at one point in time and space and enables the dancer to move around it by aligning to different parts of it or to avoid it. Our implementation creates a delayed 3D capture of the dancer's body rendered as a point cloud. We use this function to enable participants to visualize their own body and its movement in the past, sharing the same space in the mirror with their real-time optical reflections. The final visualization is embodied estrangement. This function is inspired by previous work on altering the dancer's body images using avatars or other visualizations. We use this function to explore the possibility of using the mixed reality mirror for visualizing virtual images other than simple lines, shapes, or realistic captures of the dancer's body. Our implementation renders a featureless humanoid avatar that masks the reflection of the dancer's body. Using these visualizations, we conducted a technology probe workshop with 13 dancers from diverse training backgrounds to elicit their embodied experience and their feedback, and to understand the potential effect of the mixed reality mirror on dancers' daily custom and practice during their creative process. To expand our investigation to broader futuristic scenarios beyond the current capabilities and limitations of the technology, we followed the technology probe workshop with a speed dating workshop, featuring a storyboard interview and discussion sessions. At the end of the workshop, we conducted a low-tech prototyping activity and provided participants with art supplies. We asked them to create concepts of future technologies that could help with improvisational dance making, inspired by their experience with the mixed reality mirror and the storyboards. 
We designed and illustrated eight storyboards representing future uses of the mixed reality mirror for different purposes and within different contexts. They contain scenarios such as understanding character movement style by embodying a virtual avatar in the mirror and understanding the spatial constraints of a stage by visualizing it in the mirror. We conducted a follow-up improvisation interview session with an expert participant who has extensive professional experiences as a dancer, choreographer, and educator to provide an intimate perspective from someone who usually acts as the leader in studio sessions. The workshops and interviews gave us a rich set of valuable feedback from participants. We highlight a few points as follows. By revealing visual traces and structures of movements in 3D, the mixed reality mirror enriches dancers' temporal and spatial perception during improvisation. One challenge in dance is building mental imagery for movements and poses. Similar to improvisation technologies, point-point line helps to visualize the otherwise invisible structure between dancers' body parts and their relationship with the surrounding space, formed at fleeting moments during improvisation. At the same time, the straight lines are also traces of the dancers' past movement as they remain displayed in mid-air at the locations where they were created as material for creating new movements. Whereas air drawing visualizes the continuous trajectory of movements of the drawing hand, point point line reveals an abstract trace of a moving structure between two parts of the dancing body. The lines in point point line gave participants a better sense of the 3D space because they were created between two different points. This was appropriated by participants during the Technology Pro workshop to create gradual patterns and abstract traces of their movement. Another appropriation of Point Point Line was to create walls of lines from which their body contours could emerge. This accidental feature of the mixed reality mirror also helped them visualize the spatial relationship with the surrounding space charted by their own creation of abstract structures. Delayed presence was the visualization function that excited our expert participant the most throughout the study. She interpreted it as the feature that enables the co-presence of three dancers. The physical dancer, the reflected dancer, and the delayed 3D capture of the dancer rendered over the same space in the mirror. This multiplication enabled her to step outside of her physical self, which would have been the only focal point of her bodily awareness, and to establish connections to her other selves across space and time. An improvising dancer may perceive the delayed capture of themselves as a partner while they improvise and collaboratively create the space with it using their reflected body. They may also perceive it as a past extension of themselves that visualizes the space occupied by their body and its movement from which stems the future movement in the next split of a second. As we couldn't cover everything here, please refer to our paper for an extensive discussion of the Mixed Reality Mirror as a tool for movement visualization and its impact for future HCI works.